Here's a Denon tape deck, uh, DRM 540. I picked this up at an estate sale for 10 bucks. I bought it because it's um, kind of the end of the line for what I would consider quality tape decks. Multi-segment VFD display, feather touch, fine bias, so you can make your tapes a little bit more calibrated and a little bit more bright and brilliant. Um, two motor design. What I do is, you know, I, I, I condition the rubber rollers. I put rubber restore. And I also take a look at the belt. And this has one belt. The belt was in good shape, but I put rubber restore on it. Um, seems to be working fine. But there's one final thing that needs to be done. Is I'm going to do a audio speed calibration and adjustment on this. I use a program called Audio Tester. What this is going to do is I have the output of my tape deck going into my computer. It's going to plot everything on this chart. And notice in the middle I have one kilohertz. I have a one kilohertz test tape. And I know this is one kilohertz and it's accurate because I happen to have a Technics direct drive quartz lock cassette deck yes it, it's quartz lock so i made a bunch of these tapes so that you know if i ever need another one i have one so i have a bunch of these we're going to put this test tape in here which should play exactly at the speed it should be and then if i need to make an adjustment i will do so and your adjustment is typically if you look on the back of the motor there's a little rubber thing where i'm pointing to a little rubber grommet you can put a screwdriver in there and usually adjust the speed um, there are certain instances where there might be a speed potentiometer on the board so you have to kind of be creative or get the service manual but i'm 99 percent percent sure there's a speed uh, adjustment there so let's do this we are going to hit start now this is listening and we're going to hit play here. I put the tape in. Okay, we are not too far off because look at the peak of that and look right here. But that's still not exactly where it should be. So let me go ahead and put a screwdriver in here. And look what happens here. Oh, we're getting slower. Oh, way too fast. Sometimes these potentiometers can be a little touchy. Okay, I would say that's dead on. That's good enough for me. So that peak is at 1K. That means that the speed on this tape deck is where it should be. Now it could drift. I guess it depends on the cassette. It depends on, on the, the age of the belts and a lot of other factors, but it was just a little bit off. And I find that some tape decks are significantly off. And if you heard with your ears the difference as I move that thing around even just a little, it goes to show that while you may be playing a song, you don't detect it, you actually are off. So, you know, the fact is calibrating a tape deck, this is one way to do it.